With Independence Day around the corner, we know a lot of families are getting ready to celebrate. Firework shops in South Carolina say that they are stocked and ready to keep up with what is expected to be a busy weekend. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre joining us live in Fort Mill on more with more of that. What you got there? I got some good, cool fireworks here. You know, whether you're putting on your own show or attending one, we know fireworks are a big part of the magic when it comes to 4th of July festivities. Our neighborhood does the whole thing. Our neighborhood puts on a show from about 5 o'clock until about midnight every year. So it's awesome to watch. It's better going out and watching fireworks anymore. Well, I like it because uh, when family came in town, my granddaughter, you know, she's five years old. I get choked up. And so she loved it, right? So I do it for them first year, about five years ago. Then I kept doing it. Thank you, man. For some families, there's a sparkle in lighting up their very own fireworks to celebrate Independence Day. The last 4th of July, we had eight to 10,000 customers in one day, and we did over 500,000. Area 51 Fireworks is ready for the holiday rush with a major grand reopening Saturday. Dozens of staff on hand and aisles filled with fireworks to sell. These shells are the hottest firework in America. They hit the hardest, bam! They're the loudest, they got the most color. Now, for those who would rather watch the magic, there are plenty of shows in the region, including at Carowinds, Harrisburg Park, and Indian Land School Complex, to name a few. The Whitewater Center will host two days of 4th of July festivities, but will not be lighting up the sky this year. It cited multiple abrupt changes in the firework permitting process prescribed by Mecklenburg County and the city of Charlotte. We reached out to the county for a response and it tells us there have been no recent changes in the permit process by neither the Mecklenburg County Fire Marshal's office nor Mecklenburg County's code of enforcement. Now for those sparking up, just make sure to take the proper precautions to prevent injuries. But I'm prior military. I dealt with explosives a lot. I'm extra safe. Bring the bucket of water, wear the safety glasses. And however you choose to celebrate, enjoy the show. Just the excitement, the, the thrill, the kids love it. Now, millions of dollars are spent on fireworks every year, but keep in mind that most of the fireworks that are legal in South Carolina, like firecrackers, bottle rockets, essentially anything that comes off the ground are illegal in North Carolina. So don't forget that. And if you're looking for a list of fireworks shows near you, head to our website, WCNC.com, to find one. Live in Fort Mill, Jesse Pierre, South Carolina. Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> WCNC Charlotte in South Carolina. <laughs> Jesse, thank you. We